binning, also called discretization, is a technique for reducing the cardinality of continuous and discrete data. Binning groups related to values together in bins to reduce the number of distinct values. Now, a lot of theoretical aspects just might have jumped into your brains. So let me clear this out. In short, if you could recall when we were talking about how to handle outliers, we have talked about a process of discretization. The meaning of this is turning your continuous data into discrete data. So right now, what you can see in this image is a continuous image. So this is a continuous data. This is continuous. And this is discrete. So we usually group them out in different uh, values. So pinning is nothing but again any data value within the range to be a fit into a pin. So let's look into an example. We will take again the age feature mostly when we are jumping into coding one. So it's a continuous feature and we will divide them into different groups. So low, medium and high. That is something that we are going to do in a Jupyter notebook. But before that, let's look into one more example. We have this data set name score and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some classes. I'm going to create three classes. So in this three classes, I will divide them. So somewhere between zero to 50, I'm going to create class, let's say low. Then I will be having med and then I will be having high. So in zero to 50, I am in low, then 50 to uh, let's take 60 or 70. Let's take 70 and then 70 to 90 is high. So 63 becomes M, 48 is L, 56 is again M, then high, then 32 is again low, then again high high and at the end low. If we create a graph of this, it will be something like this, low, medium and high. If I plot out one, two, three, four. So somewhere low will be, we have three values, one, two and three. So for low, this will be the bin. For medium, we have two values, so somewhere between this will be for medium and for high, we have some three values. So again, for high, we have three values. So that's how we are converting score, which is a continuous value. So this is continuous. We are converting this to a discrete value. So the data set which we were having before was something like this for score. Score and somewhere like this the data might have been. We have converted the score to this discrete value. That is what we mean by binning or discretization. Let's jump into a Jupyter notebook and have some hands-on view to that. Now again, we are back to our Jupyter Notebook. In this, we are going to look into how to create pins. So these are some of the importations that we have. Let's check out our data. So that's our data. Again, the Titanic data set, the very famous Titanic data set, which we are using. If you could remember, this is how we can create a box plot. So let's create for age. So that's how we created a box plot in a previous video. Now let's look into another kind of plot that is plot dot hist. So what it does is it will create a histogram for the column H, the capital A. So that's a histogram which actually tells us at this range 0 to 10, we have somewhere this kind of values that are less than 20 values. Again, from 10 to 20, we have something like this. We can also set out the number of bins we want. So let's set bins to three. So that's how we can create bins, the number of bins that we need. So again, this is not quite clear if you can see. So 
let's create something manually from using the power from the leverage of our python pandas let's create data so let's create a new cell that is a new column data and let's name this as age bins is equal to we are going to use cut function this function is used for what you have thought by now is for creating our bins age that is we are taking the column age and what we are going to do is we are going to set the limits so bins is equal to so let's set a limit of 0 to 20 and then let's set 20 to 40 I guess so and let's set then create something for above 100 so we have three groups 0 to 20 then 20 to 40 and then 40 to 100 so we have three groups let's run this and let's check our data age bins oops the typo okay so let's check the head of it. okay so we have something like this again you can check it out for the complete one let's compare out so let's first check age let's check side by side so again we have some key errors let's run this cell again data age with a capital A okay so you can see that 34.5 age is in the range of 20 to 40 then 47 is in the range of 40 to 100 62 is in the range of 40 to 100 27 is again 20 to 40 and again 22 is again 20 to 40 so one more thing that we can do from this is we can also label them out so let's label them out labels shift plus enter if you are ever forgetting out the syntax so you can see labels so let's create out some labels for them so over here we will be passing a list of names so let's pass low med and high let's run this copy the same cell paste it out here and we are getting the same thing but with our labels so that is how we can create bins of our own if you want to ever check it out or if you want to ever create bins this is the way you should be checking it out if you want to check the actual count of them so let's take age bins and we can pass the function value counts which will be telling us the exact count of values in this so med high low so we have 186 medium and 77 high and 69 value high. so what i mean by this is 69 values are there which are in the range of 0 to 20 77 values are there in the range of 40 to 100 and 186 values are there which is in the range of 20 to 40. now if you want to ever want to plot a, then you can just plot account plot and let's pass data inside of it data and let's pass our age so here we have our count plot it just gives them visual appealing look to our data which is the same data which we are getting over here in the visual format so low we have somewhere 69 medium we have 186 and high we have 77 you can always change the bins value so let's change the bin values to 0 to 30 and then 30 to 50 and 50 to 100 if i check out you can see low has been completely changed out low right now has 200 values inside of it so that's the takeaway from here that is how we can create binning that is what we mean by discretization that's it for this video in our next video we are going to learn about encoding